Welcome to Mountain Bike Physics, our problem cornering on a berm, a bank surface, centripetal acceleration. We'll start with a free body diagram, we'll draw our bike already in the turn, draw our lines of force. This problem is designed to find the angle of this corner, angle of inclination. So there's our uh, force line due to gravity. Here's our force, centripetal force, and our normal force will form the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Again, our objective is to find the angle of inclination here of this uh, curved surface, this berm, if you would. Now, we're going to assume that there is no friction and that only uh, the berm is carrying us around the turn. We're going to solve this problem like so. Centripetal force divided by force due to gravity is equal to the tangent of the angle. We know that our centripetal force is mass velocity squared over r, and we can substitute in mg for our force due to gravity. We know that the tangent of our angle will equal velocity squared over rg. Let's solve the problem. This is what we know from the story problem. Our velocity is 25 miles per hour. The radius of the turn is 50 meters. We're assuming that there is zero friction. And we're looking for the angle of the banked turn or the berm. So to find our angle, take the inverse of the tangent, multiply by our velocity squared divided by rg and we'll substitute in what we know. First thing we need to do is uh, convert miles per hour to meters per second. This will put it in a usable form and our answer is 11.4 meters per second. So our angle, inverse tangent times 11.4 meters per second squared, divided by the radius 50 meters, and acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meters per second squared. Our final answer, the angle is approximating 15 degrees.